In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to save and print your work. As you work on your design, you will want to save as you create and modify your work. Don't wait until you are finished. If you lose power or lose your internet connection, you'll be glad you saved your work. This will be helpful because you may want to come back to the design later to make changes or to print a new color rendering or export a CAD file for cutting sandblast stencil. To save your work on your dashboard, you'll need to go to the white box in the top right corner of your screen that reads Name of Design. Click in the box and a cursor will appear. Decide on a name that will be easy to identify later and type that name into the box. Then click Enter on your keyboard. A message will appear to let you know that your design is being saved, as seen here. You will then get another message letting you know that your design has been saved successfully, as seen here. Once you have saved your design, you may need to print it out for the family. To do this, go to File and Print Design. You will be notified that your print has been queued. A print screen will appear for you to adjust your own printer settings and print out the design. You'll notice that these prints only take up about half of the page, leaving room for you to write down information for the family. If you want your image to take up the majority of the page, try switching to landscape layout in your print settings. You may want to paste this color rendering into a contract. To add your drawing to a contract, click Export As and choose JPEG Picture File. This should save to your Downloads folder. In Chrome, it shows that the file was saved here. Now I can go to a Word document or contract and insert the color rendering. So I'll just put my cursor here, go to Picture, select my Downloads folder, and double click on the image I want to use. If you ever need to email a design to someone, go to the Email As option at the top. To send an image, you'll need to select JPEG Picture File. This will open a form to fill in with your email address. The recipient's email address. And any other information about the order. Once you're done entering all of the information you want to be included, Click Send. You will receive a notification informing you that your email has been scheduled for delivery. You will also receive a notification letting you know that it has been delivered successfully. Yahoo and Hotmail addresses often block messages generated by servers such as ours. If you want to be sure your customer receives your email, you may also want to try exporting a JPEG file to your downloads folder like we mentioned before and attaching the file to a message in your email. If you ever decide you want to save a new version of a design and also keep the old one, you'll need to first change the name in the box in the top right, but don't click enter this time. Instead, go to File and click Save As. This will save the new version of your design in addition to the old one. Now you can begin saving designs to your dashboard and printing them out.